In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply and customize filters in Photoshop for stunning image effects. Let's get started. So here you can see I got this image of this woman. And the first thing to do when applying filter, you need to duplicate your layer. So select on this layer, and then you just have to press Ctrl and J as a shortcut key. So I repeat, the shortcut key of duplicate is Ctrl plus J. And now you can already see here that the layer is already doubled. In this copy, now this is the layer that we're going to add the filter. So to add filter, we go to this top part, it says here filter. And all of this below are different kinds of filters. So for you to be able to see the effects of each filter, you can just go to the filter gallery. And then um, by choosing those different filters, it will also show you its effect. So also on the right side of it is the option. If you want to adjust it, just use the slider to change the option. For now, I choose poster image and then okay, so edges, edge intensity. Yeah, that's, that's two, it's better. So you can just play around which one is the best for your image. Okay, posterize. Okay, I think is the best. Okay, now select OK. And there you go. Now you can see the filter is already applied in the duplicated layer. So if you want to see the original, you just have to hide this one. This is the original image and select it back. You can also add another filter if you want to. So to do it again, just click on filter once again. And maybe now I'm going to add some blur on this image. So go to blur and then select Gaussian blur. 3.0, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, now you can see the image is a little bit blurry. Now, actually, it's, this is not yet over. If you want to change the contrast of the filter, you can go to the blending mode here. So you can change normal to which blending mode you want. So choose overlay. Okay, so I guess this look stunning if you want to see the original again this is the original image and this is with filter and i have another image here and i'm going to show you another way to add a filter on your images so the first thing you have to do now is to duplicate the image first and then after that you just have to click on the on this adjustment layer on the right bottom part of the screen yes just select this one and then choose photo filter yeah see this one it's another filter okay so once we've done that can change the effect so you can see here with the properties yeah actually these are all different colors of filter so um, if you want to see each effect you can just click any filter effect and then use the arrow keys up and down okay, up and down. down arrow key to show the different colors for the photo filter okay. Okay. But for me my plan here is to make this image look warm so maybe I'm going to use warming filter LBA and that's fine and also you can adjust the density on how strong the filter effect you want okay so for me maybe 40 is fine okay so without filter this is how it looks like and now we add the color filter and it shows like this so there's an effect right now um i have another thing to do i want i don't want the filter on this subject for example so to do that you just have to click on this on this layer the layer mask of this filter here and then go to 
brush tool. Okay, so here you can see there's a paint, there's a black, so black means to remove the filter and white means to put the filter. Okay, so here we're going to remove it, so we're going to use black paint. Okay, now you can see I'm trying to remove the filter in this women's skin. Just like that. Alright, so once we've done that, I guess the density of the filter is too strong. So to adjust it, you just have to click this layer mask over here. Yeah, the adjustment layer, you just have to click it. And let's change the density again. Maybe 35 is enough. Yes, okay. That's it. So let's compare it from the original image. So this is the original image, and this is the filtered image. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. And another example, let's go to this image, okay? So now I'm going to change the softness of the face of this man okay so how to do that okay so let's go so first thing of first as always we just have to create a duplicate yeah just right. just what i've said Control j is what you need to do to duplicate it and then after that click on this layer image and then invert it by clicking Control i once we've done that let's go to the blend Let's change the blade mode to vivid light. Okay. After that, let's go to filter. And then let's go to others and select high pass. Okay. So now we can adjust this one to blend the face of this man. Okay. So maybe. Okay. Let's select okay. And then another, again, we're going to put another filter on this. So select filter. And then let's add a Gaussian blur. Okay, so tree. Maybe four is enough. Okay, there you go. And now we're going to create a negative mask by clicking yeah, this layer. And then help and then select this. Add layer mask to create this. Okay, and then after that, we have to go to the brush tool. And then our plan here is to show the effect filter that we just created. So to do that, we just have to switch it to the white paint. So how to do that? You just have to press X, right? Okay, and then now you can now start. Um, Applying using the brush tool on this man's face. Okay. All right. So something look like this. Now I want to switch it again, and then let's remove those filter on there its eyes and lips so that it looks natural. Let's go to the shadows. Okay, now let's see the differences. Okay, so this is the or oh sorry, this is the original photo, and now we try to soften the skin of this man, and it's turned something to this. And that is how to apply and customize filters in Photoshop for stunning image effects.